Good day, guys, and welcome back to another fabulous TV show on Mukbang with Nadine and Daryl the Ralphies. Yeah. You scared me for a second, my poor Oh, ears. I'm sorry, my little ducky bird. Yeah, my little jujube. My little boo boo. Jujube from Boo Boo Bill. Oh, my goodness, look at those herrings today. I oh, just noticed them. Oh, aren't they cute? Now, isn't they beautiful? Isn't they? Yeah. Nadine yeah. <laughs> got a different color hair again today, boys. <laughs> I don't know who's gonna jump in the car with. <laughs> she jumped I said, in the bed with, with her rubber, rubber boots on. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, you guys, by the thumbnail, you guys already know what we're gonna eat. Mm -hmm. And we have a bit of a story time that we're gonna tell you guys. <laughs> Get it's a bit of a funny story time. Let's Hope you guys enjoy it. Nadine is a very detailed person. I'm just gets it out and. Nadine is going to explain it. And we're, I'm both, gonna... we're both going to explain yeah. it, guys. But I'll fill in some of the gaps where Daryl would just, like, look over the gaps. Yeah. I'll okay. help you with the gaps, guys, okay. so you get it all. <laughs> so, um, we went to... We went to Mad Walk, guys. Yeah, be careful. And we got two orders, and we got a side order of... Did we get uh, chopsticks? I hope so. Oh, Are my you word. Serious? Are they in the bag? Mm, I don't know. Well, it's pretty easy to see. There's your peanuts. They could be at the bottom there, Sally. Why would they put them at the bottom? I don't know. Let's dig it out and see. Well, boss. I couldn't use chopsticks anyway, so I'm going to use the sanitized oh, fork. That's too bad. I really thought that there was chopsticks in the bag, guys. Yeah. There may be when it digs down there. Yeah. So, I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. So in this little container here, we have a little container here. I don't know if Daryl showed you yet or not. No. But we'll get into it in a minute. What else we got? We got some soy sauce. Throw it on here, babe. Okay. And we got some more type of sauce. I'm not sure what that is. Careful. I guess that's more or soy sauce, honey. More soy sauce. Or something like Hope it. Hope you don't wear oh my. Oh, my. Yeah. Yeah. We got uh, two fortune cookies. Yep, we'll have for dessert later. Yep, and our two main course meals. I don't know which is which. Wow, so heavy, man. Can you remember what yours was called? Something oh, that's the Szechuan chicken udon noodle. Udon? Udon? U D O N. How do yeah. you say that, guys? Sorry. Udon? Udon or Udon? Udon. Noodles. I guess. That's mine. Yeah. Oh, that's hot. Yeah, hold it from the bottom, my ducky. Oh, why, yeah, yeah. Take that. Okay. Don't waste it. Hi, yay, yay. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. And apparently, this got to be mine. Oh, we got another pack of soy sauce down there. This is mine, air boys. They didn't write nothing on my box. So, no. Oh, that's hot, 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 hot. And we got the, the noodles or whatever it is. Noodles? Noodles instead of rice, right? Of course, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It came in two of the meals, yeah. Okay, and we got another pack of soy sauce, boys, by the look of it. Yep. I'm not sure what this container of sauce right here is, guys. I'm not sure if that's just soy sauce. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll soon find out. Mm. It's just I don't want you to touch it if it's fish sauce. Yeah, I don't want that. I'm not going to eat that anyway. Okay. And I got my two little packs of peanuts, because you could grab some peanuts or hot sauce. So yep. I didn't bother with the hot sauce tonight. So... How can we do a nice thumbnail? We, we got to open them up first, yeah, don't we? that's what we got to do first. Okay. But I'm concerned about this sauce. Yeah, I'm going to put that sauce down there. Daryl, before it wastes. I'll put a word up on the dash. Look, and when you want some, you let me know. Look. Yes, dear. That's probably oyster sauce or something. Okay, we'll just leave that one alone. Okay. We'll use these two soy sauces. You yep. have one? Yeah, I got one over here okay. somewhere. Over here. Soy sauce. So, you guys, we're going to show you the two... What is it? Four dumplings we got there? Four chicken dumplings. Four chicken dumplings, guys. Yeah. We never had dumplings before. I can't recall. No, them. no. It's going to be exciting mm. to try. They smell delicious. They yeah. look delicious. They're the, not very big. They're small. Let me see. Oh, sorry. Oh, they're babies. They're babies, yeah. But maybe that's just the size that they make there. Mm. I don't know. Yeah, I don't we know don't, We don't eat them there all the time, guys, so not sure. Yeah. Maybe this is what this sauce is for. This could be soy sauce or it could be something different. I don't know. But we're not going to open that sauce no. because you guys, Daryl, if you're just new to our channel, Daryl's like highly allergic to um, seafood and stuff. So we cannot open that sauce because we don't know what it is. Yeah, okay. So let's get into this. Pull back the flaps there, guys. I'm so oh my hungry. goodness. What? Wow. What? There's a nice sized portion. Oh, good. That's good. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Yeah. 
So Daryl's gonna hold his container, two containers. I'm gonna show you guys mine. Yeah. Microwave safe, it says on the box. I don't think I would uh, microwave a box though. Would you? Honestly. I, don't know. I, I couldn't myself. Okay. I have the Szechuan chicken udon noodle, um, guys. And I got the, what was it? Beef fun yun or beef. Beef fun something. I, I took a picture of it. I can't remember what it's called now, guys. Sorry. This is my udon, uh, what do you call it? Mm -hmm. Szechuan chicken udon. And it's not um, spicy. I inquired to see if it was spicy. Before we get into these meals, we're going to go ahead and say a blessing. Mm. God bless this food which now we take and do us good for Jesus' sake. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord, and bless this food to our bodies. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. That's right. You guys, I have some nuts right here. I'm going to dump on top of my um, meal. Yep. So, you guys, I'm just going to... Uh, there's only one set of chopsticks, so I'm just going to dig in. You can use mine, babe, here. That's fine. Here. Okay. Go ahead and try. Please forgive me if... I can't use chopsticks properly. Me and Nadine is going to uh, share a pair of chopsticks. For the whole video? <laughs> I may use a fork here in a minute, boys. Yeah. Oh my goodness gracious. I haven't used chopsticks in that long. You'll do fine. Now you take your time. You take the first one? No, point? no, no. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. So this is chicken dumplings, apparently. Don't you lose it. <laughs> Mm. Any good? What's it look? Mm. Guys, what does it look like inside? Yummy? Mm. Looks okay. Is it good? The batter is not crispy; it's more chewy. Like maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Mm. Yeah, but it is good, tasty. Mm. Yeah. What's the chicken taste like? Does it taste like chicken? Yeah, it's tender. Does it taste like chicken? Of course. I'm just nervous. It's not mystery chicken, I don't think. No? Not like what's in this box over here? <laughs> it's my opinion, you guys. It, the chicken don't look... Um, when the chicken is cubed up like this here, everywhere we go, everybody calls it mystery mm. chicken, okay? So don't go coming for me. Yeah. There's no point to waste your time coming for me. <laughs> Let's don't try. come for Nadine, boys. Let's try one of these... Mis not mystery. Let's try one of these um, chicken dumplings. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> um, I think we're supposed to dip it in soy sauce. Mm. Are we supposed to dip it in some type of special sauce, like soy sauce, oyster sauce, fish sauce? But I can't dip mine into fish sauce or oyster sauce because I'm highly allergic to. I'm done. They're good. Okay. I just want one of those. Okay. So I can enjoy my um, main course. Mm hmm They're good, guys. Yep. Then he so got her nuts put on, and I'm going to put my nuts on there, boys. Let the nuts fall where they may. Hey, boy. Mm-hmm. So, you guys, I just want to show you the chicken, what I'm talking about here. This is the chicken. And everywhere we go, when the chicken looks like this, everywhere we go, we call it mystery chicken. And a, a lot of people do. Um, don't get offended, guys. Oh, it's don't waste your time getting offended. Because <laughs> it's just a it's waste just of time. It's just our opinion. Yeah. And if I'm not comfortable eating something, I'm not going to eat it. That's right. Um, Amen, my sister. So, minus the chicken, I can't wait to get into this meal. And I know I ordered chicken, guys. Ha, ha, ha. Um, I should put my uh, soy sauce on. I have my soy sauce. I'm going to pour this all over the top. I hope I don't uh, offend anybody that I'm using a fork. Well, we don't have two sets of chopsticks in I the car, too, right? Yeah, but I'm just telling mm. them the saw. I know, my love. Yep. So, you guys, I'm hungry. You didn't put your soy sauce on? I did put my soy sauce on. Oh, when? Where was I? You were right next to me when oh. I done. Oh, there you go. Hey, guys, you're going to watch me put my soy sauce on. Whoop, whoop, whoop. You got big juicy noodles. It's called Udon noodles. Want them? Udon noodles. Do you want them? No, thanks. Oh. I'm quite content what I got here. Look at the beef. The, you beef, the beef looks beef. good. Want to try some beef? No, I'm good. Thank you. I like some more like noodles and the veggies and stuff, guys. That's just me. Mmm. 
so slippery. The beef is right tender, look. How am I going to do this with these things, um, these um, flaps? How do you get into this? Want me to rip off your flaps, no, my it's okay. It's okay. I'll rip them no, off. No, I got it. I got it. No. I want to help you. It's out okay. Here. I don't want it rugged looking. Okay. I'll just get it over my chin everywhere. Oh. Mm. No. Noodles are too thick. You don't like thick noodles? You should try it. Oh. What else? Very gelatinous to me. Mmm. I like the thin noodle, and I know this is a thick noodle when I ordered it, guys. I just thought the noodle texture was going to be different for me. Yeah. Um, for what I was looking in a noodle, but anyway. It's all good. We're going to eat it, and... We're going to... Mm. Eat some delicious food with you guys, and then Nadine is going to start with the story time. Mmm. Yum. I think you have the acquired taste for those noodles. You? Mmm. Or what? Yeah, they're different. We're just not used to eating noodles like that, I guess. Because well, we always eat uh, the thin noodles or something. Mm -hmm. We had um, a different kind of noodles from um, another... Um, uh, I don't know if it was a restaurant or if we went to a... Um, Fast food place? No. International, we went to an international um, grocery store one time, you guys, and we got noodles. Yeah. Uh, what kind of noodles was that we bought? It was like a rice noodle or something, guys. Okay. But this udon noodle is nothing at all like that kind of a noodle. So, anyway, just note, I'm just pointing out differences, that's all. Yeah, I'm not going on an udon noodle. No, not really. Mm-mm-mm. Those dumplings are pretty good, too. Peppers, guys. Okay. Mm-hmm. I must say, Mad Wax is pretty good. Yeah. Hmm. The first time ever eating dumplings. You said you'd want near other one? No, you thanks. Okay. No. Yep. Mm. I'm not sure if we would get them again or not, but... Yeah, I don't I know. I think they're okay. They're, they're okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay, Nadine, this is salty. I just added all that extra soy sauce. Woo! And that's extra salt. Hey, bye. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh oh. What? Mmm. Good. Man, man, man. Mm. I got an extra pack of nuts for later. Oh, and the drink, guys. We yeah. got. Uh, I, need, I need my drinks fast. Mm hmm. Drink. Um, what's this called? Pineapple bubble. Bubble. What's it called? <laughs> You're funny. Pineapple bubble. <laughs> Yeah, kind of messy. Mm. The queen is getting messy. What are we going to do with this now? <laughs> <laughs> I don't find it very funny, honestly. Sorry. Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't. Not at all. You don't like getting a mess, do you? Not at a time like this, no, when I, you <laughs> know. Everybody's just laughing at you now on the other side of the camera, isn't it? Guess what? Good for them. <laughs> Here, my baby, let me help you out, Law. My throat is on fire from salt. Thank you. Okay, my ducky. I remind myself right now of uh, an uncle that used to live on this earth. Mm -hmm. He would never, ever sit to the table and be satisfied with tasting his meal. He always had to just jump and put, like, a load of salt from the salt shaker on his oh. meal. What? Yeah, Daryl. You never, ever got to meet him. No. Sorry. I wish you did. Anyway, this is extremely salt because I added, I think it's because I added the soy sauce. I should have tasted it first. Go figure, Nadine. And messy, huh? 
Let's see, yep. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Oh, you guys. Nadine is the is the drama queen. Wow. Are you? It's only a little bit of uh, sauce on your cheese. Going all over the place. Yeah, it's not oh, a big deal. Oh, my baby. Don't anyway. you worry about, you worry about the, the littlest so things. So if I worry about the littlest things, why don't you take this meal and I'll take your meal? Okay, here. Come on, Daryl. I can see you putting this all over your face. You use I'm trying to care about that. Come on, Daryl. What I You're all talk, honey. <laughs> You're all talk. You're always all talk, honey. I can't even use the chopsticks. It's been that long. Hey, boy. Ah, guys, my chopstick skills are... But it's very, um, what's the word? Not slimy, but it's very slippery. Oh, that was a good boy. I know, you should have been into Come it. Come on, Daryl. You got the mouth to do it. Come on, I can see Kwong doing, doing this. Suck it in just like a vacuum cleaner. Tell me it's not salty. I can't even get them on a stick for you. Not <laughs> Ready? Stick. Ready? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on, Daryl. Careful, careful. How come you're mm. not having a mess? There's your big bird from Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> Try some more, look. Is it salty or not? I gave it's it to you. It's not too bad. Oh, my throat's on fire. Go on, boy. <laughs> oh, guys. What a mess I'm having. <clears throat> Leave it to the queen. The beef is very tender, look. Well, good for you. I want you to try it. I don't want it. The beef, beef is very tender and cut right nice, all right tin. I don't see. I, did I have a veggie in this yet? Yeah, I have one green pepper so far. Here's a carrot, guys. Look at a carrot. Mmm. Good? Mmm. That's good. I'll never ever get this dish again. Not me. Like, what? I just wish it would stay on the chopsticks, guys. Mmm. Manna, manna, manna. Mm. It is a bit salt now. Oh, which one? Both of them, I think. Oh, really? Mmm. I think they both love the salt tracker in there tonight. Look, I'm talking extreme amount of salt. I know I added, mm. um... Soy sauce. Yeah, but yours... Did you add soy sauce? Yeah, I did. One oh, pack. well... So maybe the two of ours is extremely salt, guys, because we stupid like added soy sauce without tasting it first. Yeah, I guess so. He just needs a nice cup of tea after this. Oh, you better believe it. I think I'm drinking hot water. <laughs> I <have to laughs> dilute this, man. I did this to my own self, guys, I think. Whew. We were supposed to talk about something, but there's so much salt gone to my head, I don't even know where, if I'm in or out of the world here. Oh, slippery when wet. We may have to leave that for another time. Nuh-uh. No, we're not. It'll be a long video. Oh my goodness, I can't master this. Seven hours later, still eating noodles. Mm -hmm. So you guys, we'll get into the story time. Yep. Um... Listen, never ever Go ahead. I need something to cut the salt. Them peanuts salted? That sure do. Oh, sweet baby Hannah. Mmm. Whoa. So we have more nuts on here. Do you have nuts, Daryl? Oh, yes. I just showed them. I put on some nuts Good for choice. both of us. Not sure if it's going to be edited out. See, Daryl? <laughs> That's why I had to ask. So, you guys, don't ever ask Daryl or I to be matchmakers. You want to know why? I'll tell you why right now. Okay. We tried it. Not intentionally. No, was not it? at all. Well, it wasn't intentional, was it? No. Nope. Um, you guys, how did this, how did it start? How did it transpire? We went to a craft fair, right? No. So a good friend of mine, he's single and he's looking for a woman. And uh, he said, Daryl. Yeah, he's a funny guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's a nice guy too. Yep. And uh, he said, do you know any single women? And I said, no, 
Not off the top of my head. I don't know any single women at the moment, you know. <laughs> and then I said to him, if I sees or talks to any single women, you know. With the wife. With the wife. With the wife. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you know, you know. I'll try to set you up with her, you know. Yeah. Come out with her, you know. That, yeah. Yeah. Me and the wife would be trying to be a, like a matchmaker, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. You know, yes. We thought we were going to go into business doing this, guys. Yeah. <laughs> the Ralphies, the matchmakers. Oh, Imagine that Lord. Now. What a job we did, boys. Mm -hmm. Wait till you hear us about it. So one Saturday, we was at a... Like a craft fair or something like that, wasn't it? Yep. And we bought some like sweets, like cinnamon buns and mm -hmm. uh, di uh, pastries, pastries mm -hmm. and different things or whatever. And then when we left the uh, craft fair, the craft fair, mm -hmm. we went and got a coffee at like Tim Hortons or something like mm -hmm. that. And then. We had a couple of places to go. Errands. Errands to run and yep. stuff like that. Yep. And before we started our errands, we parked outside this store. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and uh, this lady working at this particular store, she was coming out to go on break. And her car was parked next to our... Right next to our car. Right next to our car. Uh-huh. And we didn't think no more of it. No. We just continued just having chit-chat and having a coffee and a bone, you know. With each other, you and I. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See, this is where the details wife comes in, see, guys? Mm -hmm. Pay attention. Oh. Yep. And. She looks so sweet. Mm. She is sweet. Yeah. She looked over at us and we looked at her and stuff like that. And we just sitting in her car and stuff. And we didn't see her that she was like eating anything or having a coffee or anything. So. No. But we knew she was on break. Yeah. But we knew she was out on her break or whatever. Yep. So we put down the window, put down our car window. Like the newfies we are. Mm hmm. And we, you gotta incorporate that, honey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we motioned to her and the pop down her window, right? Yeah. So we could have a little chat, you know? Yeah, if she wanted to. If she wanted to, you know? So we had a little chit chat there. And, These noodles, oh my God. And uh, we asked, I don't know, just general chit chat or whatever like that. And we, she said, Oh, I'm on my break and stuff. and. And I said, well, we got extra, like, pastries and stuff like that, if you would like it, like, mm -hmm. since you're on your break and having to chat with us, you know. And we just opened them with her. We just opened them with her, mm -hmm. you know, and opened the packaging and stuff. Yeah. And she said, sure, I'll have a pastry with you guys. Yeah. And we were just talking back and forth, just general conversation. She you know? said, that's so sweet of you. She said, you don't even know me. Yeah. And she said, you want to give me a pastry? And we're like, sure, we're just yeah. about to open them now. And mm -hmm. so we opened them and gave her one. Then she got out of her vehicle and come over by us. Mm. Did we get out of our vehicle too? I think we did. I think so. Yep. Yep. And we were all talking. Mm-hmm. And she told us that she was single too, as we were talking. Oh, excuse me. Mm-hmm. And she went out on different dates and nothing never worked and stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And I didn't think about my buddy at that time, you know. So no, you didn't. No, I didn't. No. So huh. after our conversation, we were just talking and stuff. She went on into work. And we went into store afterwards mm -hmm. to do run our errands and do a bit of shopping and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And we didn't think no more of it. And then when we left the store to come home to our place, uh, 
This friend of mine texts me. And when he texts me, when I got home, we were both texting back and forth for a little while. I said, Nadine, it just came to me. Yes. Like, so my, and so. My, my friend is single, and the lady we were talking to earlier, yep. she is single too as well. So I said, why don't we match them two up? Yes, this is hilarious, guys. <laughs> Yep. And if it works, it works. And if it don't, it don't. Mm -hmm. There's no loss. There's no big... Oh, my. Oh, Nadine got the sauce on her chin again. <laughs> yep. Makeup gone. This meal is so delicious, man. I'm so happy you're enjoying mm. it. I'm sorry you got a messy noodle meal. Yeah, I know. Listen, you got to live and learn, right? Yeah, so we were texting back and forth, me and my buddy there, and I said to Nadine, I said, like I just told you guys, he's single, she's single, but I'd hook him up, there's no big loss if it didn't work out, you know? Mm -hmm. So I had to go then. We let a few days go by, you know, and then... Thank God for editing, I'm so happy. Didn't you text him that night? I'm starting talking to him about it that night. Oh, yes. So I did. And I said to him, we know this single lady. And we wouldn't dare say her name or nothing We didn't right say away. no names at, the mo at, at that time, you know. No. Nope. I said, I think you guys would make a good couple. Yeah. You know, that's what I said to him, right? Close to the same age. And he said, who is it? Who is it? You're right interested. You know what I mean? Right. Right, uh, tickled the dick, you know, he's, <clears throat> he's just pumped and excited and just wanting to get to know her, you know, and go out on dates and see if it's going to work, you know. He asked, was she on social media? Yeah, he asked, was she on, like, different social media platforms and stuff, you know. Uh -huh. Such a funny story, guys. Mm. I said, not that we know of if she's on that stuff, eh? Yeah. And, uh. Then we went, a few days later, we went back to the store she was working at, and she was working, and she just came up to us, and we just had a chat chat again, you know, and we were talking to her, and I said, we actually knows of a, a, a guy that's single as well, and told her where he lived. Yeah, told her where... Where he lived like, and stuff like that. Around what area, you know? What area and stuff. And... Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> and uh, I told her, and when we got it all explained to her about this gentleman, mm -hmm. and she said, Oh my goodness. She said, Not so and so. Yeah. And I said, And Daryl was like, what? Huh? Yeah. I was so in shock. Stunned. I was like, like, what's the chances of seeing, like, some random woman, like, out at a store, you know? And, like, a good buddy of mine. Mm-hmm. Never thought June would ever... Go ahead, Joe. Be... So, apparently two of them are, uh, related, you guys. So they're, first or... They're cousins. First or second cousins. First, yeah. first... First or second, I'm not sure what it is. So you guys are try we're not the best matchmakers in the world. Don't ever come to us to try to get matched up or whatever like that because not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. That's our like first. what's the chance? Like in the big city, you know? That's our first and last time ever matchmaking <laughs> anybody. But what's the chances of two of them being cousins though? But you, but you didn't finish the story now. Why? Oh yeah, and then 
You, we went to go see this friend of yours. Yeah. Sat because I said to you, I said I gotta sit with you yeah. when you're talking to him about this particular person and whatever. Yeah. I said I gotta be there to see his reaction. <laughs> I just gotta be there. Can I come? Yeah. And Daryl's like, I don't care. Sure. <laughs> we go. We sit down with him. We're like, you gotta sit down for this though. You gotta sit. Mm. So, do you want to keep telling it or? No, you give her. And so anyway, he sits down and he's like, boys, what's up? What's up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Daryl's like, dude, he goes, do you remember this lady we were telling you about? Mm. He said, you know, he said, she lives close to you and she's in this certain part of town. And and he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. And he's right, like, quick to talk. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like this, right yeah. hyper and stuff, hey? Yeah. And he was wanting to get right to the point of who this person was. Mm. And then Daryl started to say where this person worked. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where he clued in. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. And he just busts laughing, man. And every so often he bring it up to me. Now? Yeah. Right up to the... Just day to day, you know. Can you remember when? I said, yes, I can remember when. Yeah, really. <laughs> But I said, how? but how did we, how was we supposed to know, you know? And me and you would never know. Yeah. We would never know. You guys, it's just too funny. Mm -hmm. You would think, like Daryl said earlier, you would think, you know, you're in a certain, you're living in a certain spot, certain place, and yeah. you think, oh, it's so big and there's nobody around. Like, the, you would never dream that this person over here on this side of town would ever know anything about this person. You just would never yeah, think. Yeah, like, what's the chances, right? Right. I almost felt like we were on, like, a talk show or something. Like, Jerry Springer or something. Yeah. Really? <laughs> man, oh, man. And the two of them gets a big kick out of the story all the time, every time we see them. Yeah. Even his cousin, the female. Well, she laughs more. She gets, a, like, a big hee-haw out of it. <laughs> She's like, if we weren't related, you know, mm. he'd be such a great match for me because... She said how close they are, and yeah. I don't think that kind of close, but... No. Like, they really think the world over each other, period, anyway. Yeah. She's like... And then she looks at Daryl one day, and she's like, Daryl, you know, it's about the thought. The thought is what counts. Yeah. You tried. You tried mm. to... We we tried to hook them up, and mm. not knowing that they were related guys, but... Yeah. Um, it was just too funny. Mm-hmm. So, anyway, we are not the matchmakers. Some of you guys may think we might be. We're not... <laughs> hey, honey. Never but close at no. all. I think we'll stick to our own, me and you. Yeah. Our did own. you guys ever try to match people? And when you, you did try <laughs> to match them, was it the cousins? <laughs> Were they cousins? Did you have success? Yeah. M matching. Oh, my God. I can't even talk. Did you guys have success matching up people ever? If you did, please drop your stories down below. <laughs> You don't have to put no names or nothing no. like that, but a general idea of how your um, matchmaking went. I'd love to be able to read some of that. Oh, yeah. You? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. funny. They'll always have a story. Definitely. To tell each other over all the years, still. Definitely, yeah. They always remember the two of us. Mm hmm No matter oh, yeah. what happens. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Can you imagine if we ever get up and move like we're thinking? Mm hmm How they would um, still interact with each other and be like, can you remember that year? Yeah. Because we texted both of them, eh? Yeah, we did. We told her in person, and she just hung her mouth open like, you're not even serious, you guys. <laughs> you did not just say this person's His name. name. yeah. And when we told him where she worked, that's all it took. Yeah. He was like, no way! And we're like, we're so sorry <laughs> for any inconvenience. Hey, boy. <sighs> but they both got a big laugh out of it. So, yeah, like Daryl said... Don't ever come to us, guys, and expect us to be any kind of matchmaker. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna work, no. We we, we learned our lesson. <laughs> Didn't we, Daryl? Yeah. Real quick. 
You never know. We could possibly have success one time. Mm. But I just don't know how. I don't know if I'd be, have the nerve to do it again. I think I'm done with it. With what? Matchmaking? Matchmaking. Okay, me too. Man, this dinner is just like that brawling, oh, man. Mine too. Wow. My tongue is lit. Not in a good way. Wow. I'm not going to drink the water tonight, are we? Oh, we got to get more water, honey. Do we? Mm-hmm. Mm -mm -mm. This is so good, though. Mm-hmm. Besides it being salty. Have you guys ever had an experience like that? Somebody tried to set you up with somebody and... In the end, they're trying to set you up with, like, family member, and you you honestly just couldn't <laughs> believe it. I'll laugh if that's what happened to somebody else. Mm -hmm. Possible. But it's just not that counts. Isn't it? We tried. Definitely. Because the funniest thing is, she is so sweet, mm -hmm. and he is so sweet, and all we could think is, oh my gosh, they're close to the same age. You know, they don't really live too far from each other, I don't yeah. think. You know, we don't know the details of how it, exactly, like, kilometers of feet and stuff, guys, but, um, we just thought, wouldn't it be cool, and if, if it worked out, what a story they would have, you know, like, yeah. oh, so-and-so matched us up, and we're still together today, and, yeah. but nope, our story had to go down in history. Huh. What, babe? Yeah, too bad. It's so sad. I thought it was all gonna work out. I was hoping so much so it was Me gonna too. work, yeah. So funny though. So much for that guys. Yeah. Done like dinner, Lo. Goodness gracious. Now it wants forty gallons of water to drink it. I'm telling you, Daryl, we need the water. Wow. Oh, my tongue mm -hmm. is just tingling. Mm -hmm. It was that salt. Your throat burning? My throat's not burning, no. It's just... Wow. Um, my tongue is just dingling, you know? So, you guys, we got to have some more drink. Are you... You got your drink all gone? Yeah. Well, no. I still got a little bit left. Mm. So, we're going to get into our fortune cookie, I think. I was thinking about sitting and letting the water sit on my tongue for 20 minutes first. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, that's, yeah, that's salty. But I think, you guys, the problem with our meal tonight is not at all the restaurant's fault. I think it's um, us. We added both each a soy sauce to our meal, and I think it kind of ruined each meal. What do you uh -huh. think, babe? Yeah. We should have we tested. We should have tasted mm -hmm. the meals before we added a soy sauce. I can see the comments now. What's wrong with the two of them anyway? But you guys, usually we're um, rational people and we do stuff like that. We, ch we ta taste the meal first and then we'll adjust as how we see fit. But yeah. tonight, well, I we think didn't do it. We were that hungry. I was we just, just going to say, I think we were so hungry tonight, <laughs> you guys, that we just like... So you guys, we have our... Fortune cookies. Yes, we do. You're going to read your fortune to me? Yeah. You're going to read it to me, Ra. I'm going to tell everybody my fortune. Goodness gracious, my, throat, my tongue is just burning from the salt. Yeah, I know. What's yours say? You tell us for yours first. Hold it. No, you go ahead. Tell us, Daryl. That's French on that side. You should show them before you read it. Oh. Now, what's it say? Good health will be yours for a for a long time. Oh, nice. That's awesome. I was going to say very long time, but it says long time. I just uh, cracked mine. But a long time is very long anyway, in my opinion. Oh. I just cracked mine, what I was showing you guys. Sorry, but here it is. Look. Yeah. Have you got my neck? <laughs> Want me to read it here or you want it? No, go ahead. Daryl, listen to this. You can't even believe this. I will. It's on paper. Keep your ideas flexible. Oh, wow. And don't ignore details. 
Wow! I was pretty detailed tonight, wasn't I? With your yeah. story? Yeah, you weren't too bad. It was a bit slow getting it out, but... That's just you trying to make sure you're getting all the details. Yeah. You don't need to panic over stuff like that, my little Spock. <laughs> How come you call me Spock, Nanny? Tell them all. Because you've got the cutest little goatee. No, I got nothing to do with it. You have got nothing to do with it. Come on, tell them. No, em. no. Everybody knows who Spock is, honey. <laughs> you guys, Daryl's eyebrows grow so quick. Yeah, and he sticks off everywhere. Oh, Nadine oh. calls me Spock. Mm -hmm. Nadine got her nails on today. She showed them right off to you. Mm -hmm. Isn't they beautiful? They're I'm Easter. So mm -hmm. Easter nails. Mm -hmm. Thanks to the nail technician there. Hey, boy. You know who you are. Yeah. If you're watching this video. Yes. Good job, buddy. Or Missy. Oh, Missy, yep. How do I know? I wouldn't even dare. That's right. You think she knows it all, don't you? I never said I knew it all. No, my nose is itchy. You're going to kiss a fool now? No, not you then. I know it's not. I ain't no fool. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, bye bye. Feel better? Yeah. Mm. I just need a cup of tea to get down. To get the salt, to calm the salt down there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm good, thanks. So, you guys, let us know your matchmaking stories down below in the comments. We want to hear from you guys. Yeah. Um, what else was I going to say? And what do you think of that story we just told you? Oh, guys. Let us know your feedback and all that old stuff. If I thought for a second that these two people were related, we would never. Well, of course we wouldn't. Ah. Uh, and it was such a big left hand for us, you guys, because we wanted to be like, we got the two of them together, yay! Yeah. We would be to all the family functions, and yeah, we, they would have had their kids named after us, and imagine that now, you know, and yeah. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. <laughs> anyway, guys, it didn't work, so um, yeah, don't come to us for matchmaking. No. <laughs> Not at all. Just, just, just no. So, Daryl, I have to ask you a question. Okay. Do you like my bracelet? Yes, I do, my baba. Do you think it's pretty? Yeah, of course. It's a bit sure? of bling bling there, isn't it? Wait till you see later. <laughs> bling bling. What's going on? All diamonds? Shine bright like a diamond. Hey, bye. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, you guys, I uh, just want to make sure Daryl see my bracelet. This is like a, an older bracelet right now, but um, mm. you never know what you're going to see in the future, honey. Yeah. Might have to readjust something on this one or go boom. And make something magic appear. You never know. Yeah. Anyway, you guys. I guess this wraps up another fabulous mukbang matchmaker failure with oh, wow. the the Daryl the Robbies, guys. We're not failures, my baby. We are. No, we're not. We didn't hook up. We didn't have very much success hooking people up. Oh. Well, it's a big fail. They still love us, so. I know. Yeah. Anyway, you guys, we're out of here. We got to try to get some uh, tea to settle all the saltiness in us right yeah. now. We said that about 15 times. <laughs> <Yeah. now. laughs> it's okay. We'll say it's 16. <laughs> so, you guys, we're out of here. We love you guys so, so much. Make sure you stay beautiful, stay sexy, stay blessed. Yeah. And until next time, you guys, peace out. We love you guys so, 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 so much. Yeah. Thank you for watching right up till the end of this video. Yep. Love you guys. Love you. Peace. Give them kisses, baby. All right, my dear.